open letters to the President of the United States and Mexico. Dear Mr. President, you speak to me in two tongue like this body is some sort of absent flavor your palate does not remember. Do you really not remember how much na it takes to break through this indigenous skin? Querido Presidente, does your stomach ever growl for less than our kin? Dear Mr. President, how dare you say we take on the rewards and reap the benefits of this great nation as if you do not take on the rewards and reap the benefits on the backs of this immigrant nation. Querido Presidente, did you forget your manners at the door or did you purposely not question why my brother is not home? Do you know why my brother is not home? Querido Presidente, this is not the cry for mercy that you may think it is. This is not ten white men sitting around a dining room table determining my fate. This is my mother being served the first plate. Dear Mr. President, this is not me tucked in and away in the shadows, Commander. This is not me hiding like a child beneath the skirt of your daughters, Commander. I am not the one that will cure your deficit. You are the deficit. We are here on this mother ground doing more than washing your white linen and filling up your bellies with our ancestral histories. Do not forget this, Commander. Querido Presidente, ¿a qué supo la sangre de mi hermano? ¿Cuál fue el color que dañó tus zapatos? Dear Mr. President, does this letter make you uncomfortable yet? Querido Presidente, you will no longer track us down and round us up like cattle. You will no longer brand us with your emblem or tag us in the name of your misconduct, Mr. President. Querido Presidente, you will no longer wade us in a red river with the blade riddled around our neck. Querido Presidente, is this not how you slaughtered our flesh? Dear Mr. President, this is when I learned that bloodstains come out of linen best when drowned in cold sweat. Dear Mr. President, do I not fit the bill of your most treasured crime? Like implode, like mass genocide? Dear Mr. President, do not confuse the sound an animal makes as it rides on the ground moments before death. Do not confuse what happens when blood seeps into soil moments after death. Dear Mr. President, blame is a funny thing, que no? Dear Mr. President, remember that seeds have rebirthed in fouler places than the mouth of a carcass. Querido Presidente, esta no es una amenaza. Esta es una nación de cuerpos malparidos. This is a nation of angry and grieving bodies, Mr. President. Do not fear what you do not know. It is best to fear the woman in front of you. It is best to fear the locked jaw I have around your neck, the teeth I could press, the porcelain prison your jugular now pulses in. Dear Mr. President, look at me when I address you. Dear Mr. President, Fear what I will do to you if you kill one more of my kin.